What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, we're going to talk about a Magix Video Pro X. This is a software also produced by Magix, just like Vegas Pro 16 or Vegas Pro 15. This software is also a video editor where you can edit your videos for YouTube or your school project, anything like that. So if you guys are curious about how this software works and if this is something for you, make sure to stay tuned. We're going to run through the entire program obviously right after the intro. Okay guys, so once you have picked up the trial or you bought the program, which you can purchase through the first link in the description if you want to pick this up, what you need to do first is download it, activate it, everything like that. So then if you start it up, this is basically what you will see. So right here we have just an empty project. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to hit file at the top and we're going to hit a new project. Now the first thing you want to do is configure the movie settings. So if you want to have this, for example, uh, 12 by 720p that's going to be a 720p video 1920 by 1080 that's just 1080p full hd resolution you can also have interlaced as you can see 1080i that stands for interlaced but if your monitor is not set up for interlaced mode then you'll see all kinds of lines through it so just make sure to just stay on the 1080p side of things you can also choose the 50 fps the ultra hd tv if you want to but we're going to just pick the standard one 1920 by 1080 25 frames per second Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do is you can also give this a name, for example, my first project, and then obviously you can just hit create project. Now, this is basically what you will see. This is the timeline. This is your preview video, and this is where you're going to preview uh, your media files that you dragged into the software. So first of all, what you want to do is, for example, drag in a video that you just filmed. I'm going to do that right now. Let's see where it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is the intro of uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday's video that I did about the one that direction uh, effect where you create that uh, you know the swipe animation so if you want to see that one I'll leave it the outer card at the end of this video as well so this is basically what we will see very cool So that's basically how you do that. And I'm going to also, by the way, uh, show you how to use the controls, like how to cut in a video with your keyboard, how to play back, everything like that. So as you can see, this is the preview screen where we will see our video that we are playing back in our timeline. Let's just go ahead and configure it first, like get all comfy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first drag this guy down just so it's going to be a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to also drag this guy to the right so the preview is a little bit bigger. I just like to also see what I'm previewing so that I don't have to go up and look all clo up close to the screen. So then what we can also do is drag this guy uh, to the right so we can also preview the files that we have in our project. Very straightforward. On the left, we will have the preview so we will see everything uh, what's in our timeline. And on the right, if you drag in multiple clips in your project, you can also preview them, everything like that. So this is basically our timeline. And to start cutting things up, what you want to do, it is not as like in Vegas Pro for split, but you want to press on this scissors icon or you can press T. So let's go ahead and click right here press t so then we're gonna also for example click right here on the timeline let's say that we want to crop this piece out i'm gonna also press t and if i click on there you can also hit delete and then you can just you know move these clips around add anything else in between it so that is basically how you split things up and cut things up okay so now that we are previewing our video and this is my beautiful girlfriend as you can see by the way what we also can do is for example drag in multiple clips i'm gonna also do that so i'm gonna open up the folder and drag in just a few more additional videos Okay, so that's basically what happens when you drag in a file right here in the project folder. So if I hit play, this is basically going to play back the video on the left, which is the preview screen. Click on your video and then on the left, you can also play one uh, play back this one as you can see, and then you can also choose which part of the video you want to go ahead and include in your timeline. Let's go ahead and just crop this piece out. So then you can just go ahead and click on set start of range in point, and then you can also put the point right here, and then you can also click the set end of range out point like that. So then what you can do is import that one into your timeline. 
as you can see. So just go ahead and click on this preview. Then you want to just drag that into your timeline. And as you can see, if I play this back, if I zoom in by holding control and zooming into the timeline like that, as you can see, this is basically what we cropped out a few seconds ago and then what you can also play back in your timeline. That's how you can actually go ahead and preview your video on the left and also just drag in additional videos on the right, crop it out right here with this timeline, drag it into your file uh, or I mean project and that's how you simple that is. So now we can move on to actual transition. So let's go ahead and make a few cuts right here. So then what we're going to do is I'm just going to place the marker right here and also right there I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to delete this part. Then we can move up to the top on the right which says effects. Obviously everything is included for example like the black and white effect, brightness and contrast, different ones, a chroma key as well to remove the background. If you have a green screen we also have distortion, sharpness, speed, we have noise, we have different, we have the cookie cutter, we have, we have the Gaussian blurs, uh, we have the glow, everything that is basically in Vegas Pro is in also in right here in terms of like effects and also if you go ahead and click on the templates button at the top right next to the effects one, we also have the transitions, we have title templates, we have intro, outro animations. So let's go ahead and click on there. As you can see, we have all kinds of, you know, different templates to choose from. We have also the transitions like you guys are familiar with. Obviously, for example, the 3T with, for example, the 3D titles basic, you can also just go ahead and play it back. You can also play these transitions back right next to the preview screen to see what they look like, as you can see before you actually apply them onto your video. We have all kinds of different transitions. We also have movie looks. That means that, for example, you want to have different filters. So let's just go ahead and click on there. What you can also see is the clip that and you know what the filter looks like. And let's say, okay, I'm going to want to pick this green one. Just drag that onto your video. It is that simple. And as you can see on the left, it is applied onto your video. It's really, really cool how you can apply multiple filters, how you can cut up your videos, add transitions. So let's go ahead and add a transition so you guys know how that works. So let's play back or, you know, make a cross fade. As you can see, this cross just like Vegas Pro. Then we're going to hit transitions. Let's pick this pin board and let's go ahead and drag on this one onto this transition. So let's play it back. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's going to, you know, make a different transition, but we're going to pick a different one because this one is not really optimized. So let's go ahead and pick, for example, the movements basic and let's drag on this one onto the transition. Let's see what this one looks like. As you can see, it is a little bit laggy, guys, but that's only because my also my recording program to record my screen is running in 60 FPS. But you guys know the idea. This is how simple it is. It is really, really cool. You can just drag on transitions real, real nice. And if you want to make me like a series out of this, like, for example, every Thursday, we're going to cover like Video Pro X tutorials, you know, just like uh, Vegas Pro 16 on Wednesday. Let me know in the comments, guys, because I really think that this software has some great potential to become as big as Vegas Pro 16 because you're capable capable of doing everything you can also add in music underneath your video and you know all these little things for example adjusting that uh, for example the opacity of the video you also have these markers right here those two if you zoom in if i drag this down this is basically how to lower the opacity it is really cool and the one below it is basically the music very clear to keep in mind at the top, this one is for the video and the one at the bottom is for the audio. You also see this nice marker to bring that down and up as you want it. So that is basically really, really cool. And that is how simple it is to cut up a video, add transitions, add effects. Obviously, you can also make outros and, for example, title templates, for example, this font basic. That's how you can also apply text onto your video. So let's drag that into the timeline because I'll adding text is also very crucial so what you can do is just double click on the preview type in your text for example just alex halford like that you can just click on this check mark now you can just position it make it bigger and then you can also right click and obviously make sure to just go ahead and uh, pick their other resolution if you really want to. It is a really, really cool feature. You can also turn it sideways, everything like that. And it's all basically yours to be explored. The link is in the description. If you want to pick it up, guys, you're not going to regret this. And it's also a lot cheaper than Vegas Pro. Believe me, just go ahead and check it out in, in the link in the description. And that is basically how you do it, guys. This is how you add in text. This is just a walkthrough. This is not like uh, running through the entire program and every single detail 
detail. So the last thing that we're going to cover in this video is exporting. First is we're going to zoom in out on our timeline. Let's pretend that everything is finished. So we're going to click on the file and then we're going to hit obviously save project because you don't want to lose any progress. So once that is done, we're going to click on export movie. So right here you want to choose your format. I'm not going to recommend AVI, but what I would recommend is MPEG4. What you can also do, which is optional, which is uh, Magix Video or MPEG, but I'm going to just recommend MPEG4 because that's going to be MP4. You can also do MP3 if you want to, uh, for if it's only audio. Right here, we're going to pick MP4, and now we have the render settings for this one. So the resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080. The frame rate is 60 because this video is also filmed in 60 FPS, as you can see that you're seeing right here. Make sure to check out all these settings, the standard 2D, you want to keep that everything, and then obviously give it a name. So we're going to right click and also create a, for example, a, a preset, pick full HD, 60 FPS, and then you can just choose the locations you want to hit on this folder icon. So then we can just, for example, save it to a desktop or to a specific folder if you want to. And you can also export the selected range only. Shut down PC automatically after successful export. I wouldn't recommend that when your video has finished exporting uh, to shut down your PC because you probably want to upload it to YouTube or preview it or anything like that or make any adjustments. And then obviously calculate video effects on GPU. That's what something you can do, but it's not really that uh, crucial. It is just optional, it's just what works best for you. Click on this folder. You can also give this a name. I'm just gonna call this my first project and I'm going to hit the desktop and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now that everything is set up, I'm going to hit OK. The video is going to start rendering. So right here you can see the elapsed time, how much time has passed and obviously how much time is there left. So it's going to also, you know, go up and down a little bit. So it's going to be around five minutes and then the video is done. And I'm not going to wait until this video has finished exporting. But guys, this is Video Pro X. If you want to pick it up, link is in the description. Like I've mentioned, I cannot mention it enough because this program is so awesome and it's like, for me it's just like vegas pro i directly have a connection with it i mean this is a software that i can literally make tens of maybe hundreds of videos in so let me know if you guys want to see and you know a dedicated series probably every thursday about how to edit videos in video pro x if you're not a vegas pro user but guys that's it thank you for the continued support i'll catch you guys in a brand new video obviously on monday have a great weekend make sure to like this video subscribe if you're new i've rambled around for enough and I'll I'll see you guys obviously next week.